What's up, YouTube? Today, we're gonna to talk about why I don't use my mechanical engineering degree. You may think about mechanical engineering, I was like, great, you can fix my car. I'm like, that's not even close to the same thing. Like, you probably picture mechanical engineering like When I graduated and I got my first job, it just wasn't what I, I thought it was. Hello, Peter. What's happening? Mm. You see, we're putting the cover sheets on all TPS reports now before they go out. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Let's talk about why I don't really use my engineering degree. Number one, I don't really have uh, an interest in mechanical things or mechanical engineering. You know, I was just told by my family, go get an engineering degree. You always, you know, you always be employable. You always have a nice, comfortable job. Engineers make a lot of money. What they don't say is you'll be working for large corporations. You'll be sitting in cubicles for a while. Most of the work that you do um, won't really be announced. Now, if I work my ass off and Initech ships a few extra units, I don't see another dime. So where's the motivation? My family just kind of pushed me towards engineering and I was like, all right, I guess I'll do engineering because money sounds good to me. When you're a college kid and you don't have any money, money sounds like it's everything. But when you have money, it's not everything. And that's just, I realized that after I got a few paychecks, and I was like, great, I have all this money, bought all these things, and you know, there's like the Daniel Tosh thing. Don't you love that one? Money doesn't buy happiness. Do you live in America? Because it buys a wave runner. You ever seen a sad person on a wave runner? To me, progress is happiness. Improving myself, working on things long term, uh, looking to the future, that's what makes me happy, not necessarily physical item. Having a degree doesn't necessarily mean that you're educated. Having a degree meaning you're educated is like wearing shoes means you're walking. Let's talk about job growth for mechanical engineering. I applied to probably like 40 jobs before anyone even emailed me back and then I got lowballed on a few, not even offers, but just like this is the pay range and it was lowball. Like you could get jobs like that without a degree. With a mechanical engineering degree, it's a great checkbox for a resume and it you know, mechanical engineering degrees typically can do the other disciplines of engineering, but it doesn't actually work normally vice versa. Job growth is only projected to grow about 5% over the next 10 years, which isn't really that great. Engineers are always going to be needed. People that can solve problems more generally are going to be needed. Let's talk about the mechanical engineering work environment. Typically, mechanical engineers, unless you work at a small firm doing AutoCAD work or blueprint work, you're going to be working for a corporation, and a corporation typically means cubicle farm. I don't know if you've seen Office Space, but I designed my life to completely avoid that situation because I was in it, and I could feel my soul being drained for the time that I was in it. You become a number. There's so many employees that you have an employee ID, you have an employee badge, you get to check in, you get to check out, you get to wear a suit and tie to work every day. Most engineering jobs don't have any real physical output unless you're doing AutoCAD or blueprint design or something like that. It's really hard to see what you've contributed to the company. If you're just a project management or maintenance, it's hard to see what you've made at the end of the day and feel that satisfaction. At least it was for me. Another thing with mechanical engineering is that you have limited side project possibilities. Your skills are kind of limited to your employer, consulting, opening your own firm. And there's not a lot, you know, if you have an idea, it's not, I mean, maybe you, maybe you have the skills on the side to do it, but you're just kind of stuck in that position. Let's talk about the earning cap. The median salary for mechanical engineering in the US is about $80,000. And that's the median, so that's the average, that's not the starting and that's not the, the max. And, you know, the median, you know, maybe after 10 years is about $80,000. I've been doing software for a few years and you know, if, if I include everything I do, I'm pretty, I'm probably over that median. Since most mechanical engineering jobs are based on a at work skill set, experience you gain on the job, whatever job you pick first straight out of college is going to have a huge lasting effect on the long term, long term trajectory. Why is that so hard to say? Whatever job you pick right out of college is going to have a long term effect on your career trajectory. It's like the third take to say that correctly. So the skills that you learn there are great, they're good. You're learning a lot of things, but let's say that company goes under and that's all you have to your name, but you still have like the basic default mechanical engineering degree. But you know, say you're getting a little bit older, you're maybe 30, 32, 33, there, 
they're not going to want to retrain you. They're going to want to trick a, a fresh mind out of college and train that one instead because, you know, you've been doing it a while, you have your opinions, you have your thoughts, all those. They would much prefer to pay a newer, cheaper, fresh mind than an experienced engineer even though your skill set doesn't qualify. And yes, they could teach you how to do it, and yes, you, you could learn how to do it, but you're older, you have more responsibilities, things outside work, you might not be as focused as someone just trying to start their career and get, get moving. So that was kind of a major turnoff for me also. I don't think a degree is really needed in this day and age, especially because everyone you know is getting a degree and it's just becoming more of a, okay, I spent $90,000 to have some debt and a checkbox on this resume. So whenever you see a degree required, it's just kind of like a debt requirement. Okay, sure, a degree is needed if you want to do mechanical engineering and you want to build bridges. I wouldn't hire a dude to build bridges. If you didn't have an engineering degree, he's like, yo, bro, I know how to build bridges. You have a degree? No, I'll be like, okay, no, you can't. Of course I understand that situation where you want someone who's certified, who knows what they're doing. But I'm saying to be successful, you just need a vision of what you want and then you just have to, this is, this is you now, this is what you want on all the space in between is hard work. So my employer, yes, I learned critical thinking and how to question everything and I have all those fundamentals of what a, you know, well-rounded person college makes you or so they claim. I know this kind of maybe it's a little bit depressing and uh, have you ever seen the engineering students read it? It's just so full of I'm getting an engineering degree. I'm better than everyone else. Well, I have one. I don't think I'm better than everyone else. You're getting an art degree and I have to stay home and do calculus 4. You know how hard calculus 4 is, man? Engineering people have a tendency to think that they're better than other people. I was an engineer put in charge of people that have 13 years experience but don't have a degree and I have to tell them what to do they're not gonna take my shit like and I don't think I'm better than them because I went to college for four years and they didn't but generally a lot of people think that and that's pretty unfortunate this is what I like to call the double upload second upload in a week the uh, random schedule actually I'm trying to really get back into this so let's just say like highest voted comment puts the, the next quote on the board behind me in the next video